Internationally today, Senate Democratic leaders are asking the FBI to, quote, immediately assess national security risks at the president's Mar-a-Lago club and other Trump properties after the Secret Service arrested a woman who lied her way into the Florida resort, allegedly carrying a couple of Chinese passports, computer equipment, and a thumb drive containing malware. Now that woman is behind bars in the Palm Beach County Jail. CNN's Kaylee Hartung is live near Mar-a-Lago. And Kaylee, these senators say they're worried Mar-a-Lago is vulnerable to bad actors. Yeah, that's right, Jake. Access at Mar-a-Lago is a problem. Those are the words of one Secret Service official to CNN Today. That concern echoed by a group of Senate Democrats who have written this letter to FBI Director Christopher Wray, asking that he investigate how to better secure and protect Mar-a-Lago and other Trump properties. Their concern is that these potential security vulnerabilities exposed again at Mar-a-Lago over the weekend could have serious national security implications. You see, the Secret Service is really at the mercy of the Mar-a-Lago management and staff when it comes to who was allowed access to this private club. And that's where the problem began over the weekend. As Eugene Jiang, this Chinese national, came to the club, one staff member believed her to be a family member of someone who was a member of the club. And so she was welcomed in. The Secret Service pushes back on the notion that this was a security breach because one official tells me they had eyes and ears on this woman through every step of her journey on the property. And when her story finally fell apart after a series of lies. They were there to take action immediately. Jake, it's unclear what this woman hoped to accomplish while on the property with a bag full of technology devices, but it is clear that she intended to deceive. All right, Kaylee Hartung, thank you so much. This security issue at Mar-a-Lago is not an isolated incident. It's just the latest example of what critics regard as a careless attitude towards security issues in the Trump administration, and it starts at the very top, they say. A scare at Mar-a-Lago has President Trump's security procedures in the spotlight again. We do have profound concerns about the security protocols that are being followed or not followed by the president and his family. Since taking office, story after story highlight what critics call a disregard that the president and his team seem to have for long-established protocols. Just this week, before we learned of the Mar-a-Lago incident, a White House whistleblower was alleging that Trump's team had overruled national security experts' denials of security clearances for 25 individuals for, quote, a wide range of serious disqualifying issues. Security clearances are very important to me. Among those with a controversial clearance, the president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, and her husband, top advisor Jared Kushner, whose numerous foreign business dealings have raised concerns. When asked about possible security risks Monday, Kushner chuckled. Do you pose a grave national security concern to the country, Jared Kushner? Uh, look, I can say that in the White House, uh, I work with some phenomenal people. Kushner and President Trump have also both come under fire for using non-secure methods of communication. Do you want to uh, put that on this phone, please? Hello? Trump has denied accusations. He uses his personal iPhone instead of the government-provided cell. Kushner reportedly prefers to use the encryption-enabled texting service WhatsApp to speak with foreign leaders, including Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Another security protocol the president has dismissed, having aides present for meetings with foreign leaders, such as Vladimir Putin. In Helsinki, they met for two hours. No notes, no advisors, just interpreters, leading critics to question what the leaders may have agreed to behind closed doors. When Trump met with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in the Oval Office in 2017, it was Russia's state photographer, not the White House, who made images of the private meeting public. I had a great meeting with Putin. We discussed everything. I had a great meeting. We remain in the dark about what the two leaders discussed. I believe this lack of transparency has implications for our national security. It is quite a list of questions and allegations for a president who came to office campaigning against his opponent's breach of security protocols. Hillary Clinton can't keep her email safe. And you know what, folks? She sure as hell can't keep our country safe. Regarding this most recent incident, Mar-a-Lago has been criticized before as an open-air Oval Office. Trump was hosting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe at the resort in 2017 when North Korea test-fired a missile. Trump and his top security team coordinated their response on the patio as Abe and shocked resort guests enjoyed a front-row seat. One guest posting photos to social media with the caption, Holy moly, the center of the action. 
And let's chat about this now. Uh, Margaret, uh, it's very clear that there's just a long list of issues that w one does not have to be a partisan to say, I, I don't know that the Trump administration is taking this as seriously as they should. Yes, exactly what you said. The part about the story, there's so many parts about this story that underline how urgent it is. It's, it's, it's the pay-to-play aspect. You, all you have to do is, is literally get close to some member of the club in order to have access to the... To, some of the places where the world's most important national security decisions are being made by the commander in chief. But the piece that to me stood out about this, this idea that this woman had a thumb drive that had malware on it. Yeah. All right. Thumb drive with malware could mean anything, but just wrap your head around the fact that it was a thumb drive with malware that the Israelis used on the Iranians to melt down their nuclear, the Stuxnet attack, which melted down their nuclear program in 2005. All right. What is a Chinese national doing with malware in Mar-a-Lago? And what kind of serious national security replications could just that have, let alone the rest of it? Look, th this is a walking conflict. And the idea, as, as Kaylee said in her piece, that Mar-a-Lago might be vulnerable to bad actors is an instant classic of understatement. Mm -hmm. It is a magnet for bad actors. We already know that 25 folks in the White House got bypasses for security clearances, not just Jared Ivanka. This is a systemic problem driven, because tone comes to the top, by the president, who's either callous or careless about this issue. But I do want to say one thing. Shout out to, social, to Secret Service for having eyes on this person from the beginning. I mean, essentially what they've had to do is, without the cooperation of the president of the United States, surround and secure the place as best as they possibly can, and they did. They identified this woman long before she was arrested. They were able to, to, to figure out she was a threat and then contain it. Yeah, and, but it, it, it is interesting, of course. He did come to office railing against Hillary Clinton for her breach of, uh, of security protocols when it came to her private email server. I mean, the, the hypocrisy is, is ridiculous. What you have to keep in mind, though, is this is the one that they caught. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think people go, oh, well, you know, this, but the, she got caught. We don't know how many did not get caught. That's right. So that's the other thing you have to think about. Also, it is really difficult to keep a president of the United States safe. It is, I mean, people, I mean, they only let some of those guys serve for, or men and women serve for about a year because the level of strain, even when they're cooperating, it strains the nerves of those agents so badly. To have someone who's cooperating so little with so much at stake, it's just not fair to the Secret Service. It's not fair to the country. But A, this is the one that we know and got caught. There may be others who did not get caught. And uh, his, his personal security is at risk every day. The Secret Service does a great job, but they need help.